everyone I am back with another fragrance review but this time I'm going to be talking about amber-esque fragrances so if you're interested then just keep watching here that I want to talk about and they are straight up amber fragrances I have some that are amber floral I have some that are amber woody and I do have as far as price range a little bit of everything I have some niche high-end as well as some cheapies so with all of that being said let's go ahead and get into the first one so the first one I want to talk about is Ambrette du Noir and this is by Aaron Lauder. If you all do not already know, Aaron Lauder is Estee Lauder's granddaughter and this packaging is so, so beautiful. If you're just holding it, like sitting it down on a counter, it does appear to be like a black or deep, deep, dark purple. But if you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And the top notes of this are rose and freesia. The middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, peony. The base notes are ambrette, musk mallow, bourbon vanilla, tonka bean, cedar, and on and Broxen. I'm going to go ahead and just spray and I do have to say for this to be a niche fragrance the automizer it could be better as far as the fragrance I have to say initially when I first spray it the first thing that I get is the cedar and the rose um, the peony kind of takes a back seat to everything I do get a little bit of the vanilla and tonka bean it's not a really um, it's not a complex scent it's pretty linear meaning what I spray in the beginning is going to be what I get on the dry down as far as age group I would say uh, probably in the 30s on up I really can't see a 20 year old or younger wearing this fragrance and you know I even I like to give a lot of my uh, fragrances a test run with my family members uh, just to see what they think about it and my daughter uh, who is 19 soon to be 20 uh, she didn't too much care for it she didn't say it smelled but it wasn't something that she would wear um, so that's just kind of one of the reasons why I said that I think it's more of a old uh, a scent that's for a more mature person this fragrance could be unisex I believe a man could definitely pull this off however I think it really leans a little bit more feminine and you know with this fragrance if you don't um, really like the freesia and the rose and the cedar and ambroxan um, this might not be for you but if those are something that really turn in into something beautiful on your skin I would definitely say to check this out I absolutely love uh, wearing this one I wear it spar sparingly only because of the cost and um, it's just overall a very beautiful fragrance all right so next up I have an oldie but goodie and this is Anne Klein 2 now this was launched back in 80 uh, 1985 and since then the the um, fragrance has changed just a little bit not that much but either way it's still is very very nice the packaging hasn't changed after all of these years let me just go ahead and spray this and again this is a cheapie for the for considering that it's a cheapie the automizer you know it does what it's supposed to do this fragrance very very nice another linear scent um, now this is something that in my opinion this is another one that probably a younger person wouldn't wear um, it it leans more mature to me and it's it leans more of a nighttime fragrance more of a sexy subdued type of fragrance as far as it being unisex I think that yeah it can be a man could definitely pull this off but this is way 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 more 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 feminine if you're looking for something that is amber um, based and is going to be very 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 um, sexy deep dark and warm this would be a really good fragrance as far as the notes the top notes are peach green notes bergamot dalmalfi lemon middle notes are orris root carnation rose and jasmine 
base notes are amber, vanilla, benzoid, sandalwood, civetta, musk, and patchouli. So as you've just heard, there's a lot of notes going on in this baby. Again, this one is a very mature fa fragrance, very warm, very inviting. Um, I don't think you're going to get a lot of um, wear time if it's in compared to what happened with me. You, you have to spray a lot for, you know, for this to be smelled by others. I think this would be really suited for more intimate settings only because it just takes so much for the scent to be smelled. But this one is really, really nice. And considering how cheap it is, you know, even if you bought it and you really didn't like it, you would be out, you wouldn't be out much at all. But again, this is Anne Klein too. All right, so next up I have Grand Soir by Mason Francis Kirk John. And and this fragrance is so, 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 so divine. And I've talked about this uh, fragrance already on my channel. I think I did a winter fragrance, but this one is just a classic straight up amber fragrance. This can be worn by women or men. And the atomizer on this is divine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. As far as the scent, Mm -hmm. This one is very complex. What you smell upon um, initial spray is really not what you're going to get at the dry down. Um, this is listed as unisex, but to me, it leans a little bit more masculine. Now, is that to say that a woman couldn't pull it off? Absolutely not. I think a woman could pull it off, but this smells so, so good. <laughs> so, 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 so. Mm, I love it. I love it. All right. So the notes in this are labdomen from Spain, benzoin from Spain, tonka bean from Brazil, uh, vanilla and amber accord. This is definitely a mature fragrance to me. In fact, I read a funny, a funny comment and uh, someone <laughs> said that this reminds me, they, they talked about how good it smelled and they said, this smells like uh, a 50 year old a uh, debonair man or a very distinguished man would wear and that's that that is the type of smell if you are a mature you're distinguished uh you you're not here to play you're very serious this is the fragrance for you i absolutely love this my husband wears this and i love it the siage the longevity is unbelievable on this it lasts okay and this is another fragrance that you will have to wash this out of your clothes you can't just wear it and then it fades that there's no such thing as this uh, but this one is so divine if you don't have it and um, you're interested in a in an amber fragrances with an amber accord I would definitely say to check this one out you can't lose with this one all right so this next one is Prada amber and this is a really nice sleek um, uh, bottle I really do like the plate that's um, up top and this one is a amber woody fragrance let me go ahead and spray this this one smells so good this one this is like my second bottle of this and I absolutely Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So here's the deal with this one. This one is an amber woody fragrance. So what does that mean? You're going to get some earthy notes in here, particularly earth moss. And sometimes those types of fragrances can, excuse me, those types of notes can take a fragrance to different places, you know, things like that. But if you're familiar with all those different type of earthy fragrances, you, you kind of know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, as far as as the notes on this one this one has tarragon in the top notes bergamot green notes and fruity notes middle notes are honey carnation lang lang jasmine and the base notes are patchouli amber benzoid sandalwood vanilla oak mosque and musk so for this one i don't I, I can't say that this is a linear scent to me this is a complex scent when you initially spray it you're going to get lots of the green notes uh, that it spoke about and then the dry down becomes so creamy and rich uh, warm and inviting it's really really nice this scent is really good for the cooler seasons now is that to say you can't wear it in the summertime absolutely not you can wear any fragrance anytime you want um, but 
the reason that I'm saying it's uh, really good for the, the cooler months is because this one has a lot of projection. It's going to project. People are going to smell you. You know, you don't have to over spray it. It's very, um, it's a very strong fragrance. Um, as far as the age group, I would say that uh, probably uh, people within their 30s you know and and up would really enjoy this i think that um uh folks in their 20s it would be a little bit borderline only because i think that it reads a little bit uh mature in my opinion definitely mu unisex but it leans more feminine to me this is a absolutely beautiful fragrance i think this how long has this been around this is an old fragrance this has been around since 2004 again this is my second box but it's really 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 nice and i absolutely love it this one could um almost be a crowd pleaser the only reason i'm saying that it's not a crowd ple pleaser is because of the oak moss you know that oak moss um it just kind of turns it into something a little bit different it is very nice though very very nice all right so the next one that i want to talk about is a jimmy choo fragrance i want you i think this bottle is so 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 cute it's just so adorable and it also comes with a little stopper even though i don't think i think this is just for shipping purposes that just stop, keeps it from being pressed down but i keep it on there anyway let me go ahead and spray this and talk about this fragrance and yes, y'all, I am using tissue <laughs> to spray this fragrance on. Okay, so let's go ahead. Very nice automizer. Very, very nice. And this is so divine. This one smells so good. Smells so, so, so good. So here's the deal with this one. I love it. Um, the top notes are peach, mandarin, orange. Middle notes are jasmine and red lily. And the base is vanilla. So... I wouldn't say that this is a linear scent. What you smell when you first spray it is not what you're going to get on the dry down. In fact, you know, when you first spray it, you get lots of the mandarin orange, you get lots of the peach. You really get a fruity fragrance and that's what you think that you're gonna get. Uh, and then comes in the jasmine and the red lily. But interesting, um, on my skin, this one turns, on the dry down, it turns spicy. It, it reminds me of a spicy fragrance. You know, fragrance notes like, ginger or cinnamon or um, uh, you know just spicy notes like that it kind of reads more spicy so to me it is a complex scent and as far as the projection you're not going to get a lot of projection on it it will last okay the longevity is good but it's not it's only only in your bubble and I, and I don't, you know, after I say that, I don't even know if it's fair to say that the longevity is good. Um, and the reason I say it is because someone have, would have to come into your space almost like be talking right in front of you and they would be able to smell you. But as far as walking by, you know, in a hallway or something, I don't think that, you know, the sillage and the longevity are would work with this one this one is really nice this is one that i will call a crowd pleaser uh, this one is good uh, to buy if you are if you like to do a lot of blind buys this one would really be good but it is a, a very nice amber floral fragrance very very beautiful and i have been really enjoying this one all right and the last one that i want to talk about is this little baby right here and this is yes i am by casherelle this is the bottle looks like a little tube of lipstick this is so stinking cute let me go ahead and, and spray this okay mm, very very nice very very nice smells smell smells really good now i absolutely love this bottle this is the cutest stinking stuff so top notes raspberry mandarin orange lemon bergamot middle notes are gardenia ginger flower amber jasmine rose and orange blossom base notes are milk caramel vanilla cardamom licorice benzoin amber wood and sandalwood and this fragrance is 
so divine. So I find this scent to be a bit complex, definitely not linear. Once it dries down, it does dry down very creamy, very soft. You get a lot of cardamom, you get a lot of vanilla in the dry down. I do smell those milk notes, but upon initial, the initial spray, you are going to get the raspberry, the ginger, the lemon, all of those fruity notes. Uh, that make a lot of uh, fragrances fun and girly. You are going to get that with this one. This one is to me would be a crowd pleaser. This is something that I think that a younger uh, woman would like to wear. It smells really good. And I say that because you get the fruits and you get, you get uh, the florals. It's just a very young smelling fragrance. Now with this one, the longevity and the sillage are not gonna be that good. Um, definitely nothing to write home to mama about but if you this fragrance is uh this bottle is so small you could definitely keep it in your purse and just spray it or keep it in your car just spray it whenever you want to freshen up or anything like that but don't expect just a great amount of like i said longevity even sillage you know that's it's just not going to happen i definitely don't think this is a unisex fragrance however if you're a guy if you are a guy you could definitely wear whatever you want to wear but this is definitely girls you know you just you just think of a girl or a female or a lady when you smell this, but I love it. And I have another video coming up that has to do with this brand. And I'm actually like really impressed with this house and it's prompted me to try out some other things and I'll share them with you all in an upcoming video. But I love this and I know that you all would too. So that's it. Those are all of my Amber-esque <laughs> fragrances. Let me know if you tried any of these fragrances and if so what do you think about them let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches